Hi guys. Being a very straightforward person, I like to say what I think without coming across as being too confrontational. But when I had a baby, which was three years ago, um, you can probably imagine how difficult it was for me to bite my tongue every time someone told me how to raise my child. Now giving advice is one thing, but imposing your ideas, some of which belong to the 19th century, or making a first time mother feel confused or like she's not doing the right thing is out of order and unacceptable. For starters, some of us are new to all of this. Some of us are first time mothers or maybe we've had a couple more children before um, and we're doing this for the third time. Whatever the case is, you just can't go around taunting people like that is just is disrespectful it's so overwhelming mentally and emotionally we're exhausted and these taunts they don't help at all nobody has the right to tell you that you're not doing a good enough job and nobody has the right to dictate how you raise your child nobody on this earth can love your baby more than you i don't care who that person is nobody has the right to say anything we're all trying our best as mothers and if they say shit to you, make sure you let them know. Now I want to share with you some of the most ridiculous things that people have said to me as a first time mother. I mean I would make a top 10 but I think I probably have like a top 40. So I'm just going to go over like the ones that I found really like just stupid. Oh thank god she doesn't have hair like you. What's wrong with my hair? Why do you go out? Stay at home and be a mother. Mothers don't socialize, so I can't have friends. Don't give your baby a pacifier, her teeth are gonna get damaged. If my baby wants a pacifier, and if it calms her down and suits her, then I'm a damn well give her a pacifier. Mind your own business. You're a mother now. Wear a dubatta and do Allah Allah. Am I gonna die? Don't hold her so much, you're gonna spoil her. Even if there was scientific evidence for this, I would still do it a hundred million times. I'm going to hold my child as many times as I want and for as long as I want. Are you going to go back to work? Yeah. Are you nursing? Is the baby getting the mother's milk? None of your business. I had this relative who would pick up my baby's dress and look underneath to see what I put on for her like if I had dressed her well or warm enough so she'd pick up her shirt and look underneath or pick up her skirt and look underneath or put her hands in her hair and say you know it's not even thick like her hair is so light and I used to be like whatever makes you happy you know just don't give my daughter another you know those really annoying relatives trying to find a fault in me trying to find a reason to say that you know I didn't dress her properly or she was cold or some crazy shit like that. I had this relative who picked up Isha when she was six months and she fed her Jai from a spoon and I went up to her and I picked up my baby and said hey excuse me what do you think you're doing? Like I don't care whose relative you are, I don't care how closely you're related to my family. Who feeds a baby tea? at six months. Ridiculous. And I was so angry. Why doesn't she have teeth yet? Oh yeah, that definitely must be my fault that she doesn't have any teeth. Oh, she's too thin. There must be something wrong with your milk. Yeah, all my fault because I'm trying to starve her. I could go on and on and on for like hours. I don't, like I said, have a top 10. I probably have like a top 40. It is so disrespectful to tell a mother that she's not doing a good enough job and it's just so disrespectful to taunt a mother, be it a new mother, a young mother, or a mother that's had like 10 other kids. You can't do that. Just be kind. Have empathy. I hope you liked my video. Please like and subscribe and uh, comment below and tell me what you think.